What's up guys? I have the 2014 Mac Mini here and it was released one week ago. Um, this is the uh, 2.6 gigahertz Core i5 with 8 gigs of memory and a terabyte uh, hard drive with the 802.11 AC network. So pretty much the same as the old model. This is my first Mac Mini. Um, I did have, I'll try to open it here and I'll talk to you guys. I had the iMac, I had an iMac from 2008 and then from that I updated to a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Um, from that I got a 2011 MacBook Air. Um, and then from right now I currently have, I sold those two machines and I really like the desktop. Um, so. Now I have a 15 inch Retina and um, I really want another desktop and so I bought the Mac Mini. So no new design for this year, it's the same model or same uh, type as the 2011 model. The bottom, you cannot open it anymore. and. Ports look all about the same. Here's the Mac Mini, a uh, very nice size. Again, the bottom does not open. You can't just twist it off as the old model you could. Ports, um, two Thunderbolts. They drop the Firewire and um, I don't know, you can look for yourself. <laughs> Instruction booklet and power wire. Pretty much that's it. Um, I'll show, I'll let you guys see if I can open up the bottom of this. Just so you can see what's going on in here. So the bottom appears to just snap off. And that's what it looks like now. You got uh, T6 security screws. So the RAM is not upgradable anymore. Um, it's solder on board. Although the SATA hard drive on here you can upgrade. This is your airport um, AC, AC, what is it called? Uh, antenna, sorry. And again, not much uh, upgradability on this model. All right, so again, no major um, updates from the size of the, uh, the new Mini and the 2012 model. I'm going to show you here the um, boot up. Some of you guys may find that interesting. And right now I am running on DVI HDMI uh, with the HDMI adapter. So we got the light, it's on. Um, it's got a internal speaker for the Mac Chime. I'm not sure about if it works on um, everyday tasks like iTunes, but we'll see. And it appears to be running OS X Mavericks, I mean not Mavericks, sorry, Yosemite, uh, just by the start menu. That's what I'm assuming because um, that's what the new start menu looks like. Again, I have the 15-inch uh, Retina display model and uh, for MacBook Pro, the 15-inch, and um, this is just going to be my secondary Mac. Uh, just do some word processing, some light Photoshop, and um, some business stuff with. One thing that is that I can notice off the bat is. I can hear the hard drive spinning, which I don't know if that's annoying me right now or, um, hmm. That's interesting. I can hear the 54 RPM hard drive spinning on this Mac and, um, for a new computer in 2014, I don't know if that's, if that is, uh, appropriate especially from 
I mean Apple. Um, however, I do plan on upgrading it to a SSD. So, I don't know if that'll be an extreme problem for me, um, hearing the drive spinning. Like right now, I, can, I don't hear it anymore. It seems to only do it um, when it's on searching for stuff, obviously. Um, but some features I didn't like about this new Mac was um, standard was 54 RPM hard drive, which, you know, they could have at least done a 72 RPM. Um, again, I got the 2.6 gigahertz i5 model. So the second model up from the base, the base was a 1.4, uh, same processor that they use in the MacBook Airs. And I just felt like that would have been too slow for me, so I chose the, um, the second model up. And again, it's uh, eight gigs of RAM on this one versus where the base had four gigs and the HD 4000 graphics. We'll do that later. So, um, you know, the second model is a little bit better for just running a couple more programs at once. Um, and what was really disappointing was I was going to get the upgraded model with the um, with the uh, Core i5. However the Apple decided to drop the i5 on these, um, on the Haswell processors, so I am going to actually call myself boss. So that was disappointing. Um, you know, I was actually thinking about purchasing the, uh, the older generation model they had the 2.3 gigahertz i7 quad core uh, for the actually the same price of 7.99, and I was thinking about getting that model. Um, I think it scored maybe like 40% better in the uh, the uh, multi multi core benchmarks. However, I'm not going to be using multiple cores and. Uh, Buying a computer that's two years old, well, when the new one just came out, sort of didn't make sense for me. Um, if I got that model, I would have had to upgrade the RAM anyways. So if I bought that model, I would have not used the extra cores, if you get what I'm saying. And um, I don't like to send my information to Apple. And on top of that, uh, I would have had to pay an extra hundred dollars just to upgrade the RAM. So for this, for the new, the new model was. Uh, you know, it was right for me, and that's why I chose this one. Here's the setup screen, and it's pretty cool. Um, pretty much your usual Mac. Let's see, launch Safari. Yeah, so I'm running a uh, Dell UltraSharp 1080p monitor on it right now. Uh, the new Mac Mini is able to support 4K displays and. Um, it's able to support three displays, one HDMI, two Thunderbolts. Um, I think they're called Thunderbolts, right? Lightnings for the iPhone, I think. So um, I don't know if it can run three 4K displays, but it should be fine running three 1080p displays. And uh, especially with the Intel Iris graphics they upgraded. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and um, I'll see you in the next video.